uh, full of um, uh, catwalks and cushies and beds. This is the building that the cats, Cove cats, spend four months out here during the hard part of the winter because we can winterize this, whereas Cats Cove, we cannot winter that one. So this winter when they come in, is going to be super duper nice for them. Okay, and who do we have oh, here, Jackie? This is Mew. This is Mew. Mew came, goodness sakes, probably four or five years ago. A boy. And uh, the first week or two that he was here, he, he all he did was, he wouldn't let me touch him at first, and, but all he did was mew, 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 mew. So every time I'd go out on the farm ground, he'd be following me. And then one day he decided we were okay. And now we're all good friends. So that's Mew. He's one of the six uh, sun porch kitties. Aren't you Mew? Or I call him Hanker Painter. He's probably our oldest sun porch, one of the six. He's been here the longest. He's been here, gosh, probably five, six years maybe. He's uh, showing some signs of age. We love him. Hi, Hank. You going to come over? He's our short hair boy. Short hair gray boy. Hi there, buddy. Come here. You want to show him? He's got an eye that has some discoloration on his right eye. He also has some um, gooms that are receding a little bit, so it makes it look like his fangs are hanging down. So, we love him. Oh, and here's another one. This is Olaf. Hi, Oli Poli. This is Olaf, so this is number four out of the six. You look kind of scraggly today. Olaf is my buddy. I love him. He's handsome. I tell him that all the time. Brown Tiger Boy. He's been here probably three years, and he came as a, a very young adult, so he's not very old either. Sometimes people have just pulled up into the driveway and dumped cats off. So we test them, vaccinate them, worm. They get monthly flea prevention. Everybody is neutered, and uh, so we take very good care of them. They have the sun porch that they can stay in, and they also have this shed over here, the red one. And on the bottom right, you can maybe see um, a hole cut out that they can go in there anytime they want and inside there is cat furniture and cushies and beds and they have it nice and in the winter time we put two big heat lights in there too oh oops sorry Ola. no the one we're missing um, the one in there is Big Al then the one we would be missing is Cliff and he has actually a cleft palate. His lip, I'll, I'll show you now. Hi, Al. <laughs> I got hair in my mouth. I wonder why. This is Big Al. This is the inside of the sun porch. And it's kind of cool in here. It's nice. They got a fan in here. They got blankies and cushies and... This is the entrance into the clinic, and when we are actually in the clinic, they can come into the clinic. Um, but Al is awesome. He came here probably, what, three years ago, and he would not let us touch him for love nor money. And I remember it real clear. It was in October. And uh, all of a sudden, he just decided that we were okay, and now he's the biggest <laughs> lover bugger. But up until then, it was hands off and run away and was like a different cat. So that's Big Al, and he is. He's a 17 or 18 pound boy. Aren't you, buddy? And he's he's been here probably like three years. Yeah, you're pretty handsome. We love you. Oh, another big yawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's so warm. They're all kind of sacked out here. So the one we're missing is... These are five brand new chickies. Somebody couldn't keep them any longer, and they brought them in. I, I love our hens. They egg layers? Uh, yeah. Big egg like, layers. Oh. Come on, chick, 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 chick. Come on, girly girls. You keep getting many more, you can start selling eggs to help Well, support. I just keep giving them away. The volunteers love them. <laughs> Anybody that comes, we just give, give them away to everybody. And, oh, oh, you know what? I think it'll be fine. They don't want to go anywhere in the house. 
And can you see that young peacock over here on the right by the branch, that little branch fell down? That's one of our youngsters. Now next year, I think we have five of them that are all about that same age and they think they're all big and bad. Now there's another one, um, but we've got five of them that are two-year-olds and so next year they will get their, their long feathers. Hi, girly girls. Yeah, these are, these are some of the new ones. Yeah, come on. You all think it's feeding time. They're so sweet. Here comes here comes the others. Come on, girls. And then these um, these seven here are the only black and whites. And then the rest of the group, there's probably about another dozen and a half that are the gold chickies, the gold girls. Oh, oh, there's another one. There's, so there's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that are black and white. Maybe they brought an extra one I didn't know about. But these are my favorites. These are two different breeds here. And they do great in the winter. You know, we've got a lot of coops out here uh -huh. and barns. And they, they go in when they need to. But they are out every day, whether it's snowing or not. And I think there's your big peach out. Under the bush. Yeah, now the the big males, we have two um, mature males right now. I think now. they're both under the bush. Yeah, but they are they don't have their long feathers now. They've been dropping them. They drop them in uh, July usually, and then in December they start yes. growing them again. Oh, that, that one's actually a girl. Oh. Yep. The two boys are over here. The, that one there is one of the mature boys. And this one over here is the other mature boys. Um, we have, what is it, 14 peacocks all together. But in the last month, you guys might have all seen us carrying peacocks feathers in. And mm -hmm. they drop them in July. But in December, they, they start all over again. By January, they're in full plume. <laughs> we, have our, we have our following. <laughs> come on, girls, you can come with us. So this is Kitty City, or excuse me, this is Cat's Cove. Hi, who's crying? So this big one here, this one, is the one when I did wildlife rehabbing. This is where the um, young adult birds of prey would go in, and they would fly. They could fly in there to build up their, their wing strength. So now we turned it into Cat's Cove, and then over here is where I did the real juvenile birds of prey and that's now called feline field house and then we connected the two with a runway here so the cats can go in between there and get away from each other and two sometimes three days a week uh, we actually open the door and the cats it's kind of cool when we do that they just pop 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 right outside that door run out we leave them out three four hours they run around the farmyard like crazy cats and then we call them back for supper and they come right in. We don't have any trouble with them coming back. What are you doing? Hi, Madonna. There's a bunch of them out in the middle. Yeah, they're over here. They, and these guys also, they all have names. They've, uh, oh, they must be drying a rug in the, in the mop out here. They all have names. They've all been vaccinated. They get wormed uh, twice a year. Hi, Jonah. Uh, they get flea prevention on them every single month. And of course, they are all neutered and spayed. Uh, this one here, the three-legger, that's Jonah. He was actually the first boy. He's the reason that we have Cat's Cove. Uh, when Dawn and I used to board dogs, he had come in. Somebody brought him in as a stray. He was so horribly injured. And uh, we just loved him. So we kept him, and unfortunately, he started spraying. So we kept wondering, what are we going to do? So we decided to turn the old um, predator, the birds of prey home into Cat's Cove. So he's the reason, and he, he's wonderful. He loves it. Curious George, or C. George, he's that big whale of a white cat, white and gold cat there. He's got a little skin cancer that we've been working on a little bit. It's, it's just what it is. And uh, he came into us as skinny as a rail, and boy, something happened to him. The cancer doesn't seem to be... It's, it, does per, it is progressing a little bit. But it doesn't it seem to be... Discomfort? Yeah. At, not, none at all. Absolutely not. Simone, the brown tiger there laying down, he came in. If any cat that any cat ever came in here that looked like it was leukemia positive, it would have been Simone, uh, the brown cat laying down. He was, he probably had 
30, 40 wounds on him, skinny as skinny could be. Uh, one eye was already missing, but he's he's an awesome boy. I love him. He's fine. He's healthy. He was negative. Timothy here, the brown tiger white, he did two years ago when he, soon after he arrived here, uh, and we put him in there about three months after he arrived, he disappeared. And we didn't see him for four months. And somebody finally called me one day and asked me if I could take this tiger white, lived a couple miles up the road, and um, I told him we were so full. And But the more she talked, it was like, gosh, I wonder if that could be Timothy. And uh, she brought him over, and it was. <laughs> so we put him back in, and now he goes and comes. He never, ever not comes back again. He says, I want to stay here. The big uh, buffy one, the that one's a wonderful kitty, the, the peachy color one. <laughs> Sylvan is the gray tiger. Over there is Charlie. You can't hardly see him. He's laying down. <laughs> LaDonna. The two torties are Madonna and Lily. This one's Lily. Madonna's the other one. They're kind of, well, and then you haven't seen Savan. She's the tank. She's the tank girl where George is the tank boy. Is this half here? Uh, the long hair is, is, uh, is Oliver. Who's down there laying there? Oh, that's Jonah again. We can go in and show you, show you inside. Love them. Sticking down. Even though the scroll looks like here. George. You know, we this place is um, scrubbed down top to bottom once a week, and then every day it's swept and kept up with any problems every single day. So it's, it never goes a day without some kind of cleanup. Yeah, Georgie's there. Uh, the black one is Riley. One of the volunteers found him and brought him in. The black and white one is Honey. She has some chronic skin problems that we have to deal with. Uh, but they can go way up high. We've got cushies everywhere. Lots of the furniture has been brought out here, the cat furniture. And we have how many out here? There are 16 out here. Yeah, you're cute too. Like, oh, this is Roland. Roland is this one. And we call him Roland because he will roll and roll and roll on the floor. He's the one everybody likes because you can chop back him. You can chop back his tail, you can chop back his feet, and he just lays there and absolutely soaks it up. You are a doll, aren't you, Roly Poly? He's Roly -poly. the one that's got the big, big paws. He does have super big paws. And, you know, for the most part, they get along pretty good. Here's Savon. She's our big girl. Oh, sorry, baby. It's okay, Simone. This is Savon. This is the one Greg likes to pick up and jiggle. Oh, oh my goodness, Savon, you're so big. We do brush these guys uh, not as much or often as what we do the inside ones, but we do brush them at least once a week. And then we're at this Hi, after. George. These are, well, we call these Martha's, is, these are her guys, we always say. Uh, do you remember the very first pirate ship that we got? Yeah. That's it down there on the end. <laughs> it lost a lot of parts, and now we've just turned it over and the kitty's teeth in it. <laughs> oh, here. What's your, what you doing there? So they, they, oh, you know what? He's the one I wanted to check his little sword. They, they do squabble in here every once in a while. Um, we have our little shares of tips. Like this one, I've got a bite wound on it, but it's it's okay. Aw, George. Hi, well, hi there, Juno. So once a year, um, well, twice a year, they transfer. So one, you know, usually in November, they go up there to Kitty City. That's where they spend their four months, and at that time, we go through everybody and make sure their worming's up to date, their distemper's up to date. We do their flea prevention, um, trim their nails, clean their ears, um, check their teeth, things like that. And then when they come back out here again in April, we do that all over again, make sure everything is current on them. And then throughout the summer, they every single month, they do get their flea prevention. So we love them. These are just the crew, the guys. Although there's a few girls in here, but we call them the guys. Savan, we're Sylvan. 
you know, we can't, we can't adopt these guys out because of, most of these have potty problems. And so we, we never, ever knowingly adopt out anybody that might have a potty problem. And then some of them came to us as out and out outside cats and never, you know, would like it indoors. So this is the next best thing. But they do, do get outside. Who's that? Boy, look at that big belly. <laughs> and she's proud of it. You guys are tired. So what we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We got fourteen of the sixteen right out here with us. This is Joan. I love him. He's my oldest one out here. And I bet I called it George three times. So there's 13 in here and three right there. But I love it when we leave them out. We just fling that door open, call them first, fling the door open, and it's just like boom, 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 and they're out of here. How often do you just leave them? Usually two to three times a week. Yep. And they get out for, you know, like an entire afternoon each time. They, you don't have to call us with the chickens? No, no. Well, they go and have or the peacocks. I remember one time we had some peacock little chicks and they were over here when we had a garden there. One of these guys went after one of the chicks and the mama came over. And honestly, I think it was Jonah that was doing that. And that mama went like this and picked up the fur on Jonah. Boy, I'll tell you, that teaches them a lot of, a whole lot of respect. But no, they all get along just fine. We don't have any trouble with, with them. Sometimes Hank, gray one up there. If we have baby bunnies, he's kind of hard on the bunnies, but other than that, everybody gets along real good. Yeah, we love you guys. So when people come, we, we love it that they come out here too. And a lot of times when they come out, we give them a packet of um, temptations. So when you come out, you have to take, take that out here because they know it. And when we come out with the temptations, we don't just usually throw it out. We put some here and some in there and some in there. So after we've gone, they, we, we've left. They have something else to do. Hi, dear. How's my body? Best. Actually, on the other side, we in the field house when we have a bed in there. If anybody can't find me, it's because I have a book and I'm, I'm, I'm in here. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Do you want to take a quick view of the farm? Mm. Big Red Barn, we had, when we first moved here, there was nothing out here except the old little gray barn there. Um, and one of the reasons we wanted to move out here was that was when I was doing the wildlife rehabbing and we needed to be out in the country rather than inside. So most of these animals are, are rescues. Uh, there's peacocks down there and there's a guinea hen. Some of the ducks are there, the chickens. And in this uh, corral area, you probably can't see it, but in that little brown shed, I see the, the llama is in there and I would be willing to bet the goat is in there. We used to have six horses and donkeys and um, lots of goats, but I, we've, we've cut back, we've cut back on them. Um, there's just so much care to do in only so many hours of the day. So we've got five acres. Where the um, trees are at the back there is where the backwater is of the All Glaze River, and it's, it's beautiful back there. That's where the ducks and the geese go down there every day, a couple times a day, I've seen them, and um, take Unless a swim. Unless they decide to slip out and go out the road, and Kurt has to go send them back. No, well, the peacocks once in a while will, the ducks won't. 
so over here is where we have lots of tubs at for the ducks and the geese, but you know, we freshen that every single day, but they, they all do, all the ducks and the geese do go down to the backwater and take a swim every day. And then underneath the pine tree there is where the lone rooster is. We have one rooster for all these girls, so he thinks he's pretty, pretty big, big, bold, and bad sometimes. Now, he's actually a wonderful boy. He's, he would never hurt anybody. He's a great boy. We've got a couple different kinds of um, geese over there. And you know, it's amazing because come winter, even when it's so awful weather here, these guys all come out every single day. They, they, uh, they are out in this. What color was the one you said we were missing? The cat we were missing from the sun porch? Um, gold. No, now the cats that you see out here, that one there, that gold one belongs in the gray barn. That's a uh, beach is his name. We've got uh, six or seven of them that live in the gray barn. And then in the big red barn, there's a feral colony there, but it's, it's I think we've only got six of them. Uh, that was a mother and a whole litter and a couple others. But everything that we trap here uh, in way of cats, because unfortunately people do come out at night and dump their cats. So we do set traps and when we, when we catch cats, we do test them, neuter them vaccinate everything that we can because a lot of them are feral and then we re-release them out here on the farmyard. Isn't that a handsome monster? He's so proud. He is. He is. Every once in a while we'll get a tail feather from him too. So this is the farmyard. Hey, Tiki boy. You gonna come over? Tiki boy, come here. Come here, big boy. He says, no, i got to find my girls. Can you imagine what a rough life that is, rounding up all those female chickies every day? They sure give us a lot of eggs, though. It doesn't, he does. He's a strutter. Yeah, we hear ya. <laughs> Oh, he's a beaut. He's a nice boy. Nothing, when people want to come out here and visit, we just tell them it's okay, because there's nothing out here that will hurt anybody. You know, the rooster's nice. Everything out here is, but we do tell them there is no chasing. This is their home. They have to be respectful. So kids have to have adults, and uh, absolutely no chasing any of these guys out here. Oh, Greg. Or maybe he's going to camp school. Hi, Julie. Everything okay? Oh, here's, here's some. Some of the gold ones. Hey, girls. Oh, there's our boy. Listen to them talking to each other. Aren't you pretty? Yeah, they know Greg. They'll all make their way over there. Better go in, Greg might be feeding. We have a little banny. Well, I thought it was a banny rooster. I was told it was a rooster. Little banny. It's only probably about seven inches tall. But it's, it's actually a hen. Now these, these chickens that you might see that are missing lots of feathers, you're gonna get sunburned. You better stay in the shape. Um, those came from um, different places where they were in smaller areas and they feather picked a little, but that that will grow in here. They'll be fully fully feathered. What are you doing, big boy? Here comes some more. <laughs> he can strut his stuff, can he? Cats say it's too hot to get up and watch them. These chickens, they love canned cat dog food, cat food. So in the winter, when it's kind of hard, we always give them two cans of some real, you know, anything generic food, and they just they just gobble it up. Go. 
a hard worker. Hot out, isn't it? Hey! That's a great idea! Cole's gonna kill me, but it's a good idea. That's a great idea! <laughs> these these, these girls here. No, we have we have electricity, but we don't have water in there. Gosh, Greg, I like that idea. <laughs> That's okay. Paul needs something to keep himself busy. Yeah, he's out at my mom and dad's right now. What are you doing, Ola? What are you doing, big boy? thing we really have trouble with is you know, the occasional fox out here. But none this year. None this year. Last year we had a real problem. Okay. The the orange kitty, oops, the orange kitty there that's laying there, that's Cliff. That's the six of the six sun porch kitties. He's a little shy when he first came. Oh my actually when he first came he took off and I didn't see him for probably two weeks and now he has never left again. But he's, and he again, like the others, neutered, vaccinated, all those things. But if he would, yep, maybe there when you, he faces you, you can see a little bit. He's got a cleft he's got his lip. Land. Yeah, he's got a cliff, cleft lip, which is why we name him Cliff. Um, doesn't cause him any trouble, does not need any medical care. Very, very unusual. I think this is the first one our vets had seen. And, uh, but he does just fine. So his name is Cliff. <laughs> and you know when he does let you pet pet him though you can't he he just won't let you go then but it's always always on Cliff's turn. Did you get the doggies? Uh -uh. <gasps> There's he talks. Coming. They hear the dogs at night and they yeah. they got dogs there too. Yeah, sometimes I have to get up and leave them out during the yeah. night. Yeah, <laughs> we've seen that, <laughs> especially Jazzy. Yeah, this the little black one, Cammy. That's Cammie. She came from a rescue. We actually took, uh, I think it was 13 dogs off of a property uh, a year and a half ago. When she came, she weighed 17 pounds, had four puppies on her, and couldn't even lift her head up. It was the saddest thing. I just cried and cried with her. And I'll never forget the first, about her third day here, I went in her room. I kept her and the babies in June's room, and I sat in there and I pulled her in my lap. And that girl had probably never had a hug before. Now she's chubby and she loves to be loved on and her tail never stops. So that's Cammy. And then the big black one is, come here Jazzy, come on, come on over here. Okay. The big one is um, Jazzy. And that's another girl. And uh, she's a Great Dane mix. She also was a rescue. She was a bag of bones when she came in. She was also heartworm positive. Cammy was also heartworm positive when we got him. Um, diarrhea, like I don't know what on Jazzy, but Jenny. she does just Jenny. fine now. She's wonderful. She's getting a little old for a Dane. She's about eight years old. And and you girls want to go in, don't you? Janie! Oops, Janie's Janie's behind the gate because Greg was feeding her. Um, Janie's about, what is she, maybe four years old? She's a Shih Tzu. And she was also another rescue. Didn't have quite the rough life as what Cammie and Jazzy had. Um, but she's, she's behind the gate so that uh, she could eat her supper. Because otherwise the two black doggies would take it away from her. But these are the girls, or I call them the girly girls. And they love each other. And, and Jazzy, before I had Cammie, I had just Jazzy and Janie. And they are best buds. Um, it is not unusual to watch them when they're sleeping where Jazzy's laying on her side and Janie is on top of Jazzy sleeping on her shoulder and her tummy 100% off the ground just sleeping on her dog. Come on Janie. Come on Janie girl. Here she comes. Mm -hmm. Hi Janie. I think they're all waiting on the I think so. They they need to go in. We don't want them to get too hot. Can we go in? Come on girl. girl. 